Hello, this is David from GeekThis.net. Today I'm going to show you how in SketchUp you can draw terrain. So to begin, we have to change some of the toolbars that are currently visible. So we'll go to View, Toolbars, and you want to enable the large tool set. Then go to View, Toolbars, and disable the Getting Started one. We now need to enable the sandbox tools. To do so, go to Window, Preferences, under Extensions, and I scroll down until you see Sandbox Tools and check it. Right away, a window should show up with the Sandbox Tools. If it doesn't, you have to restart SketchUp and then they should appear. We just press OK. I'm going to resize this so I can fit it onto my sidebar with my other tools. First step is to draw the water layer. So I'm going to go to the rectangle tool, select the midpoint, and draw 100 feet by 100 feet. So 100 apostrophe comma 100 apostrophe on the bottom right where it says dimensions. Now I'm going to go to the paint bucket. I'm going to change from the drop down menu to water and go to the water pool light. Y you can tell it's a transparent layer because it has a diagonal two color split. The other ones are solid colors and textures. Now that we painted the water layer, we need to draw the land. So I'm going to draw a five foot high line so the land will be five feet high by default. Using the new tools we just enabled, go to the From Scratch tool. It looks like a grid. And before actually starting to draw the line, on the bottom right you see grid spacing. I recommend using 5 feet for a 100 by 100 box. If you are going to do a smaller box, I suggest lowering it to like 1 So we'll type 100 feet. You have to do one, one axis at a time, so 100 feet again. You now have this grid appear that we can draw the grass on. So you want to go to the select tool and select the grid we just drew, right click on it, and go to explode. Now each grid is a separate point. Select the grids that you want to adjust, or the lines. You can select multiple grids at once by holding down the control button on your keyboard. Once you have selected a few points that you want to adjust, go to the Smooth tool, and just click on those points, and you can adjust it up or down. Once you're done, go back to the Select tool, and select the new points you wish to adjust. And again, go to this move tool. So now we have something that looks somewhat like mountains. I'm just going to scatter around a few more cliffs. If you select too many points at once, it will slow down your computer because it can't handle all of the data points. I'm just going to make a quick border around the image, or around the terrain. So now if you want to make a lake, we'll select a midpoint. I'm just going to select all of those. Go back to this move tool and lower it into the water. And as you can see, you can see the terrain still under the water since we use a transparent water layer as the texture. 
To add more detail to any specific tile, you can zoom in using the scroll wheel. Go to the Add Detail tab, Program, and anywhere on the whole terrain, you can add a new point that you can move up or down from that angle. Once you have a terrain you want and do not want to make any other changes to it, select the whole thing by triple clicking it. And then I want to deselect the water, so I'm going to hold down shift and deselect it. Now right click on the terrain we made and go soften and smooth edges. You want to soften the coplanar edges also. Now keep moving the angle between normals until all the lines have gone. Once they're all gone, you can press X. And now you have a smooth terrain. We now want to add some texture to this so it doesn't just look like a gray blob. So we go back to the paint bucket. Change the drop down to vegetation. And choose the grass texture. You can import your own textures if you want. I'll show you how to do that in another video. You can always move the water layer up or down or side to side if you want. As you can see we're like flooding the whole landscape. And there you have it, that's how you make terrains in SketchUp. If you want to see any of our other tutorials, go to youtube.com slash geekthisnet. Thank you for watching.